Welcome back. I am uh, here to give an update on uh, RFID tags. We just got in some new tags, um, which are made specifically for um, uh, large birds. So you see here, I'm going to try to get it into the, uh, hopefully you can see, I know it's kind of dark in here. Um, but this tag right here is um, a cuff that's designed to go around the bird. And we've gone through quite a few tags. So initially we started off with uh, this tag. And as you see, it's a bit weathered here. It's what was used uh, initially. It's a flexible tag with rubber on it, but it does not work as well in this position. Um, and then we also went to um, this type of tag, um, which, uh, we have a few birds on that. These tags work really, really well. They have a really good, strong read rate. Um, but as you see, uh, this is a lot better for the bird. Uh, so this was our issue was trying to get a, uh, it, get a better tag. So we just got our shipment of tags in, uh, from China and, um, uh, we initially got a hundred tags. And if you look at the screen here, you'll see, <laughs> um, uh, at least 95 of them are registered right now and i do have a tag on a bird we've already uh at least put one in uh testing right now so we do have a bird wearing a tag uh how do they perform thus far be honest with you the performance of these tags is nowhere close to the performance of the other tags however um we put it on a bird just to see and it works meaning uh the way the 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 shoot is designed uh, it only has to read less than a meter. So these tags do not read much further than uh, a meter is when they start to drop off. And um, and I have to go through all of these because this is 100 tags. And if I take the bag away, you'll see as they slowly start to, as, the, um, as they time out, disappear off of the screen. Um, I'm still holding two in my hand uh but yeah it's not reading them anymore and it's and they're going to start to go away um except for these two in my hand uh what I, I have to go through all of these tags what i did notice was that um i found a tag like i said i can lay these tags right here um and you'll see them maybe still on screen if i put them right there they are still um they're still not uh being read so that just shows you, I couldn't do that with the blue tags. Say for example, these tags are sitting here, right here on the screen and they're not being read. If I take a blue tag, even one that's been in the field for a while and I lay it right here, it's reading a strong green, even sitting on top of that tag, of these other tags. So, um, and that, that, that tag you're getting is, the, the strong green one is this one. Um, I have to take it, way i mean i'm holding it over here and i'm still getting a strong green on that tag um so um these tags just are not don't read as strong however i don't i only have uh i have less than a foot or about a foot that i'm dealing with or a 12 inch area that i'm uh that is my read um that is my read area another thing that i did find was that uh in going through the tags I found a very unique situation. Now, let me get these tags completely away. This is actually one tag and it has two unique um, uh, codes, APC codes. So I think it was an error in their uh, manufacturing or programming uh, and they're off by one digit. And uh, one of them is 0810 and the other one is 8810. Um, so what happens is is that this is just faulty i've marked it as faulty but it's kind of weird that it shows up as two tags matter of fact if i go to another screen here and try to bring up a tag programming screen it says more than one tag and let me move the screen back over it says uh more than one tag in the field oh okay it depends on uh it's actually showing one tag right now but if i go to the mini tags you'll see that it is in the current tag list. Now it doesn't want to do it. There we go. In the current tag list, it shows uh, two tags uh, as opposed to one. So I've um, marked it. I'm going to have to go through most of them. And I guess I'll figure that out as I start to program them and put them on the birds. So we may make some major changes to the prototype this weekend that's in the field. Um, 
and I guess I'll have to credit my wife. She's made a couple of suggestions, um, which I am taking wholeheartedly because she deals with the chickens more on um, a few things that she thinks will work out a little bit better. And uh, I was going to save it for the next um, prototype, but I may actually make those changes in the field this weekend um, on the system that's working right now because I am going to put uh, these tags on all the birds and see how they run. Uh, like I say, they just don't have as strong as a reed range, but the design is great. Now, if these happen not to work out, and I do have one bird with a tag on, and she seems to be reading fine. I didn't think it would work. Um, I Meaning, I just was not happy with this uh, with this reed range. But we do have one bird uh, right now that is actually um, wearing one of these tags. If it didn't work out, uh, another option. I would consider because the cuff is really nice would be to um, um, to attach a, a, a really good reading tag to the cuff and I think the, the main problem is is that inside of here is an antenna and that antenna works really well in this configuration meaning there's squiggly lines in here in, in you know metal if you will that uh, based off of the shape of the antenna uh, is how it responds they're taking that same antenna and they're curving it, um, or a type of antenna, and they're, and they're, and, and they're um, putting it in the shape of a semicircle. And it doesn't respond as well, just as well as when I take this tag and I bend it, the rubber tag, it does not respond as well either once it is bent. But when I open it up, it does. But if I bend it, I start to lose its signal. Uh, it does, just does not respond as well open it up there it is i don't know if you can even see that uh, you, and you probably can't because uh, i have too many <laughs> tags in the field um but uh that's just one of those um it's a design aspect of the tag and it really depends um so what um what, what we're going to do is is go through the rest of these tags uh see what we really have see if there's any more that are faulty like this one that reads two at a time um and uh look i'm still picking up some of those other tags that are really you know a lot stronger but yeah here we go here's the one that is uh picking up two at a time so um we'll go through some more of these tags we'll get all of our birds tagged with the uh new tags they should feel a lot better be able to have a lot more mobility with these tags um and we'll see how the system works and uh, if I have to decrease the read um, field anymore, I think I can do that. I uh, don't really want to up the power that much, but I can decrease the field. I can also, uh, I was experimenting a little bit with uh, tinfoil um, because, you know, this is Alien RFID and uh, tinfoil seems appropriate for hat making. But in either event, um, I can, um, the tag that's being read right now is not the tag that's on top of the tinfoil. I don't know if you can see the actual ID, but I can literally deflect. I am deflecting the signal towards where I had those tags that were previously unable to be read with the tinfoil. Um, and, um, and that's what's actually going on. It's not reading the tag that's on top of the, uh, so like, for example, I could take four tags and put them all here. And like I said, right now they're not reading these tags, they're reading other tags. Um, because the tin foil is deflecting away. They're not reading any of these tags. Uh, and all four of these tags um, are within uh, range. What they are reading is the tin foil is deflecting to tags I have off screen uh, that way. So it's kind of unique, but, but uh, and if I throw those back down there, you get them all. I can direct and do a few things. If you notice with the tin foil, it picked up more tags. Um, it's kind of interesting, but uh, so there's some things I can do, but I also affect uh, the signal, meaning it, you know, I, I kind of um, do some, there's some good things and some bad things that go along with that. So it's a little bit of experimentation. This is probably a lot longer of a video than I wanted to make, but um just wanted to give an update that we do have the new tags. We're going to get them on the bird, and I'll let, birds, and I'll let you know how it goes from there. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to add. You know, when you're messing around with uh, RFID, 
you kind of find out what has RFID in it and what does not. Um, meaning just you, you kind of play around a lot. And this right here is a Kindle. And uh, Kindles come with RFID, UHF RFID tags in them. They're not very um, good tags. I mean, meaning I, ha I have to really lay it on here for it to be read. It's still reading some of my other tags. So I'll kind of get them out of the range. But this right here is a Kindle. And the Kindle actually has an RFID uh, tag. This is the Kindle that we use as an HMI for the uh, system, but it's just <laughs> kind of, and it's, I don't know, it's just kind of weird that it has an RFID tag in it, but they, uh, the company that manufactures this uses this, uses that for tracking. So uh, a lot of other products have RFID tags in them. Uh, you just may not be aware that they are in there. 